G'day everyone, so in this video we're going to be looking at arrangements and permutations. So with this question here, we're looking how many ways can seven students be seated in a row of seven chairs? So with this, we're just looking at how many different ways these seven students can look in the chairs. Preferred method probably for this is breaking it down in our box method. So you just have seven selections in your chair, so one, two, three, four, five, Ooh, the last one's a bit small, but anyway. So you can break it down like this, and then you can just follow how many options do we have for the first chair. Well, there's seven people, there's seven options. So one person's been selected for that. How many do we have for the next one? This is six. So you've got two people that have been chosen, we have five left, and so forth. Okay? Until we only have one selection left at the end. So another way, when you have an uh, amount of people fitting into the exact same amount of group or arrangement, we can actually express this. Just remember you need to multiply these all together. And this is the same as saying 7 factorial, which is equal to all these numbers multiplied together. So just remember this is how we can use factorials. Don't know why I wrote 6 again, but anyway. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So this here will then equal 5,040 ways that these students can sit in a row of seven chairs. All right, so this is how you can break down these types of questions using our arrangements. So hopefully this helps and good luck.